Are you still trying to get this smooth pet tracking text effect and after effect so your edits don't look choppy as fuck anymore? Well, don't worry because today we'll show you step by step how you can do it and everything you need to know. So to start, I searched out a clip from Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic and already prepared the text that I want to put the tracker on. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead to our original clip and cut it where our text starts. So for example, I have two different text layers for two different sentences. So I'm going to go ahead to where he first speaks and cut my clip right there. Then I'm going to go to where he stops speaking the first sentence and my text ends and cut the clip again right here. So as you can see now, every text layer has a dedicated duration of the clip that fits the exact length of it. So now once we've prepared our timeline for our text tracker, it's time to add the tracker. And in order to do that, we're going to pre-compose this first clip by pressing Ctrl, Shift and C on your keyboard. Select the bottom option and also enable this check mark. Press OK. Now head to the right, open your tracker panel and click track mode as you can see you now have these two little squares so i'm just gonna zoom in and we're gonna make them a tiny bit larger once it looks something like this we're gonna go ahead and drag them onto the character's nose by doing that we're gonna have after effects track the nose of our character so that our text is always dedicated to one position once you've put in the track point onto the character's nose go ahead to the right still under your tracker panel and click this little triangle to start the analyzation note that this step might take a while depending on how fast your computer works now once this step is done this is what it should look like now go ahead and make sure that every single frame is adjusted perfectly perfectly to the nose because it might not analyze some frames correctly and you'll have to adjust them manually. For me it perfectly worked and now we're going to repeat this step for every single layer that we have. So I'm going to go to the next layer as well, recompose it by pressing Control shift and C, select the layer, go to tracker, select track motion and then repeat the same process. So now once all our clip layers are finally analyzed, we're going to go ahead to the next step and actually have the tracker animate our text. And to do that we're now going to go ahead, right click on our pre-composed layer that we put the tracker on, head to open and click open layer. Now here your tracker should automatically be selected if that's not the case press u on your keyboard it should open up this little window and just select the tracker one right here now head to the right under your tracker panel edit the target and select the text that you want to have on this clip so for me it's the i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and select that press ok head to the right again hit apply very important choose x and y and press ok now next we're also going to go ahead and pre-compose our text layer so select that press ctrl shift and c press ok and now when you play your clip you should already see that the text is following the character's face but in my case the text is fully covering the character's face which in my opinion doesn't look very good so i'm going to go ahead and adjust the positioning to make the text go a bit below the face and to do that i'm just going to select the pre-composed text layer press q on my keyboard bring up the positioning property and now adjust this y positioning so i'm just going to increase it a bit to make it go a bit down this just fits fine for me and now when you play the clip you should see i don't know now the text is already tracking to the character's face. Now what's there left to do is to apply the step onto every other text layer that we have. So because I have another text layer, I'm just going to go ahead, right click onto my pre-composition, click onto open and select open layer. Select the right tracker, head to the right under the tracker panel, press onto edit target and select the right text, which in my case is the one that's already selected. Press OK, hit apply, choose X and Y and press OK again. Now as well as before, I don't like when the text is covering my character's face, so I'm going to go ahead pre-compose the text layer again, press P on my keyboard to bring out the positioning property and now just increase the Y value a bit so that it goes down a bit. Now the last and most important step is going to be adding a good color correction because as you can see adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. So if you want to boost your potential as an editor to the top make sure to not miss out on this one time opportunity because as of now I'm still running a huge sale on my shop. You can get my presets for up to 70% cheaper so make sure to be fast and don't miss your opportunity on becoming the best. You can find the link to my shop in the description is the first link now once all these steps are done this is what your video should look like i don't know 70 000 last month and if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next also make sure as i said don't miss the huge opportunity in my shop and join my discord where a huge community of editors you can just ask me questions or get in touch with other editors i'm on there 24 7 that's it thank you for watching and see you next time